Welcome viewers, Syndrome here with Breaking the Stream Gaming. Today I'm going to be continuing with my playthrough of Seven Days to Die Alpha 20. Uh, now in our last episode I attempted a Tier 4 clear quest uh, at night and it went about as well as I expected it to. Uh, so yeah, we called it right after day broke. Uh, now I'm on my way back to my base to kind of pick up the pieces. Um, day 14 here, it is a blood moon. Um, you know, I, I really don't want to move bases on a blood moon night, so I think what I'm going to do is I'll just stick it out here one more day, and then tomorrow I will head to a new base location. Um, so I think what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to kind of loop up a little bit, drop stuff off, and then wait for the vendor merchant trader that's the word trader to open at which point i will just quest today i mean our base survived just fine last time uh so i think that i should be all set for that okay let's just step away lots of canned food and and otherwise beverages uh, seeds, what's that? Pops. Box. Ammo. Just gonna take half a stack of shotgun shells with me. Engineering and that. That. That there, and then parts there. Okay, and then I remembered that we have another one. Another load of stuff in there. Okay, stuff that I'm going to bring with me to the new base location, I'm just going to put in this miscellaneous box. So, my forges, the chemistry station. You know, let me grab this other forge. And I don't care so much about that. Uh, what's powering it? Uh, except a crucible and an anvil and bellows. I have no idea if that would destroy those, but I didn't want to risk it. I also need to make sure that I bring medical supplies with me this time. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Go for the forge, the campfire. Bellows, anvils, all that stuff. Oh, there's my bike. Yeah, it must have been my motorcycle. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll bring it with and leave it at the base in case I run into a situation like last night where I need to get back to my body. It's faster than running. Okay, let's see. Steel. Oh. Oh, I went through a lot of steel last night. Eh. Oh well. We'll we'll make do. I've got a an assault rifle in addition to my shotgun, so between those two I should be able to hopefully make it through the night. I thought that I had like 150 nails. I know that I crafted those. Oh, I picked up the stupid forge before. Shoot. Okay, I take it back. Put the forge back down. Coal and iron. Alright, well, let's start this process again. Coal, iron, wood. Start smelting. Okay, so I need to make nails again. I forgot that's why I smelted iron into here. And you know what? I might as well make steel too to help me get through the night. Um, okay, medical. Okay, sugar butts in there, and we'll take out a stack of bandages. Okay, I got bandages, I got gas. 
Um, torches, wood. What else could I possibly need? Food. Well, my food is good because of last night. Um, nope, I think I'm good here. So I'm going to head to Trader. All right, as always, start off with the vending machine. Buy the eye candy, the coffee. Yeah, we'll buy all the food. What is that? Near death trauma. Ah, means that we haven't experienced it. Oh, well. You got the dupe. I'll make the time. Okay, what jobs do you got? Much and clear. Distance doesn't really matter. Two quests. We always okay. need someone to handle this. Do hurry. I have a protection uh, payment coming yeah. up soon. All right, 1.1 kilometers away. That's further than we've been, so that's fine. We're on a motorcycle now. Distance doesn't bother me nearly as much on a motorcycle. I have my frames with me. I think I have my frames. Oh yeah, this is this is way further than I've been. This Gracie's house here is as far as I have gone. That's basically the halfway point. All right, well we get to see a little bit more of the world. Maybe we'll come across a, another bio. Oh, looks like we've got a uh, supply drop here. Okay, that's not exactly what I would call fantastic, but I'll take it. If I see any gas stations along the way, I'll pop those, because those are super quick. But anything else, and I'm probably just going to ignore it. Okay, what kind of place do we have here? Okay, this, uh, this looks familiar. It's a big house. Alright, uh, let's see. Anything we don't need. That, that. That, that. Dukes. Okay, that looks good to me. Let's uh, let's go. I'll loot this twice. Why not? Eh, that was worthwhile. I don't think I've got time to loot this, right? Yeah. He was faster than me, apparently. Okay, it's fetch and clear, so we're gonna have to kill everything anyway. You, but I'll take you. Oh, God. I don't know if that's just a hubcap or if that's... Nope, that's a landmine. Okay. Well, that could have ended very poorly. Shoot, another one. Um, that's one way of clearing landmines. Okay, note to self, be very cautious here. I mean, I can't be too cautious. Just gonna go for the basics here. Big, potentially big ticket lootables. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, let's pick a direction and go. I don't like when they're silent. That scares me sometimes. Okay, that's the way up, it seems. Nice. Nice little bathroom there. I always just assume that every one of those closets is filled with a zombie. And it usually is. Alright, let's keep moving. I need to remember to keep an eye out for landmines, because I don't want to die that way. It's the office area. Interesting. Ooh, bacon and eggs. That's a good find. We got our satchel, so we're done with that part of the quest. Nothing else to loot in here. Man, there's an upstairs path and also that hatch back there. I'm just gonna do a quick look around here, and then I'm gonna take that hatch down, I think. Here's what this is about. Here's what that's about. Oh yeah, you can't tell me that that's not going to populate with zombies. Sure. Where is he? Wakey, wakey. Oh, that's a feral. This is a very new POI to me. I have no idea what to expect. I feel like I'm going to regret this. Like, this makes me think of Gracie's area.
Jeez. This is a big POA. Oh, this area seems to be empty. I hope. I mean, I hear so many, but I don't see them, and that bugs me. Gonna bother with that wall safe. What happened here? Said you vanished and blasted at a bomb. Hmm. Would have been more, it seems, maybe. Okay, I have no idea where these zombies are. They have to be above? So I'm just going to get out of here, because I don't know what else to do. I didn't see any way of getting back there. I could just tunnel my way through that seems like some good stuff I've got an auger yeah I've got an auger plenty of gas and a repair kit I feel like the exchange rate between gas and block damage is much better than it used to be. Yeah, the, uh, the gas tank mod doesn't really seem useful anymore. Okay, I kind of suspect that this is not actually a tier 4 POI. This this strikes me as a tier five. Um, man, that's a lot of stuff. You know, what? I'm gonna use it. I can use the uh, the eye candy here. There's enough stuff here. Yeah, I think it's worthwhile. I just heard something crumble. And 
yeah, that, it seems like that was the only way in here, as far as I can tell. Unless there's a switch somewhere that would open that, but I didn't see it anymore. I, mean, I feel like this guy's been banging on this for a while now. Let's see if I can find a spot where he's damaged it. Nope. He's probably got a couple layers of concrete to go through there. Oh, well, there he is. Don't mind if I do. I don't still have Lucky Looter. Eh. Eh. It's fine. Okay, I need to sort things out a little bit here. Got a baseball bat. That's fine. That's fine. I don't really care about those. Scrap you, scrap you, scrap you. Yeah, I'll sell you. Uh, let's see. T-shirt. I really don't need you. Scrap it. Scrap it. Ooh. Okay. That, that'll, that'll be fine for the time being. Damn. All these but Wait, when I saw a switch. What does it do? Uh, okay. Definitely just heard a uh, landmine being stepped on. Well, I think we might have explored all of the basement. Ah, but I mean, there's this right here. I mean, I just don't know how to get to these places. I don't want to spend all day in this one POI, but it looks like that's exactly what I'm going to do. Stairs. Oh! Stairs down here. Feral. Oh, is that? Okay. Good. Now I now I know. Although it sounds like there might be something behind here. Oh no, that's that's outside. Okay, good. That tells me it's probably not important. gonna jump out at me here That's surprising oh god irradiated I was not expecting that at all jeez irradiated in a tier 4 POI I'm glad I had that shotgun. Oh, also glad these two just ignored it. By it, I mean me.
yeah, if I had been less prepared for that, uh, that would have been much, much worse. Man, this is a massive POI. This is clearly a tier 5. Nice pool. Tennis court? to go this way? Is there stuff out there? I feel like the answer has to be yes. Well, those two were definitely part of the POI. an actual vending machine. Oh, and of course, I left my dupes. Oh, I'm not going to go back. Just for that. What is inside here? Is that part? Oh, shit. That was almost bad. It's just a nerd tower, I'm afraid of this. Somebody found a landmine. I just want to see what's inside of here. Nothing that I can tell. It's not nothing. That is definitely something. I feel like I'm going to regret this. I know this place. This is the other side. Oh, hell no. Button, button. Button, button doesn't close it. Okay, well that was harrowing, but I made it through it. I really hope that's what I'm going to call the boss fight in this place. And I'm infected. Now 
like, what was that, like eight or nine? That's the loop, so yeah. Get this back out. Jeez. Oh, thank God, damn it. Steroids. Yeah, that's a good one. Let's use those steroids and have some coffee. Pop those switches. Right. I'll take that, take that, ammo, sure, I'll take you, what am I going to get rid of here, ten wood, and let's grab the cannons, alright, let's break the chest, I need a level from this place, I have a chance. hope that the top floor of this place is exceedingly simple and straightforward and quick. Yeah, that was clearly not worth it. Um, just toss out here. Just don't... Hello. you and then I'm just gonna drink this last coffee okay let's let's get out of here yeah she's lived long enough huh, landmine I see you. Okay, back into the house? Or did I still have more to do down here? Ah. that now I've been in there still have yet to go to the second floor of this house and at some point I'm just gonna step on a landmine and get rid of the gifts Where's the second floor again I remember seeing stairways somewhere. Is oh, the garage. Okay, good. I am just about done with this. Got one more guy to take out. I hope it's one guy. Not like 
12. Ooh. All right, return to trader. I think that I will. Okay, that was definitely a level five POI. I'm not thrilled that I'm going to get a tier four reward out of it, but you know, as long as I don't step in a landmine on my way out the door, I'll be okay with it, I guess. Jeez, 7 p.m. or 5 p.m. All right, let's head back. I am infected, so I'll need either some honey or some antibiotics. I'll keep an eye out for any uh, any stumps that I see. Uh, wood, wood. Right, that's um, out of space. Oh, there was honey. Screw that. All right, now we're good. Infection is cleared. Okay, well, it was a long POI, and I can't say that I really found anything particularly good in it, but it was satisfying to get through it. Now, let's hope that we get some good rewards out of it. Don't have room to loot anyway. Did that kill it? I killed it by running it over. Okay, I have to now. It would be wasteful not to. Oh yeah, machete is so much better than whatever I was using before. Hunting knife. I knew you had it in you. Okay, let's see here. This loot is actually kind of disappointing. I mean, I'm going to take the steel boots, obviously. Those are just a big upgrade in every way. But now, I mean, the steel spear could be good for situations where, like, say, fighting bears. But I think the sham chowder recipe is just too good to pass up. Of course. Uh, let me just sell some stuff here. Sell you, sell you, sell you. Thanks for the business. We'll oh, on, did it really? You know, we don't have clocks. Oh, I am. I can't believe that. Oh, good. I was gonna be a little bit salty about that. Okay, let's see. I'll take off this mud. Uh, what else do I have to sell? Sell you, sell you, you, and you. you. Right. Sell you, sell you, you, you. Look at that. Thanks for the 
okay? Thanks for letting me take care of you. Then tell your friends. So we got anything to sell? I mean, yes. Yes, we do. You Can I sell that? Well, you just brightened my day. I'm glad I could help you. I'm gonna sell that. Now that okay, was a forgot. Good deal. Special job. Trust me. 3.7k. Just the job for someone with your to talent. The West. Trader Gen. So Trader Gen is <laughs> telling oh, you to I go find another from, Trader Gen. You know. Okay. That works. Hygiene and all. Okay. Um, at this point, I think I'm going to go fortify the base and basically get ready to move tomorrow. Um, probably at time I'm going to mine some clay, I think. Oh, let's uh, take a look at here. As opposed to what we've been doing, I think now I'm going to start doing the opposite. By that I mean I'm going to start taking stuff out rather than putting stuff in. That's not the right thing to have in there. There it is. Eh, yeah, whatever. I don't know what I was doing there. Okay, gasoline's going to go there. So I need nails, 130 I think I said, and then the forged steel, as much as I can make, which, ooh, not much. Uh, where did I put that iron? Start smelting that and then we'll make as much as we can. Okay, so I'll probably have to make a couple trips back and forth between my new base and this one, um, just to bring stuff with me. Uh, uh, what does it take to cure whatever has me bent over? Vitamins. Got plenty of those. Take those out for tonight, and those for tonight, and wash those. Ammo. That. That. I'll take my assault rifle. Okay. I think I've got on me what I need for tonight. Let's start taking out stuff that I'm going to bring with me. All the water, all the tea. I leave the beer behind. Ooh, let's eat all the one-offs that we have. Uh, what's it take to make sham chub? Can of sham, potato, corn, and water. Okay. Don't really have a good source of potatoes or corn. Oh, potatoes anyway. But I'll stop eating the cans of sham, just in case. Some lamb. Charred meat and some soup. Okay. The rest, those anyway, are coming with me. So let's just drop all this stuff off real quick.
Okay, food slash ingredients. I'm going to take the fat with me and the tea components in the meat. Take that in case I decide to start a farm. This to make coffee with. The rest, um, the rest I think can wait. Uh, medical drugs. This is going to be easy. Um, take, 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 take. I've never really understood which of these is better. And take. And take. take. Okay, let's drop all that stuff off. Okay. I take it back. Let's loot as much of that as we can, and I'm just going to put this right in the motorcycle. Keep one of the coffees out for the night. Put as much in as we can. Okay, motorcycle is full, so now we only have what we can carry on us. Um, I'm gonna just drive the motorcycle a little ways away. up here, pick up the ladder behind me, here, shut the door, grab my claw hammer, put that on the farm, and I'll deal with the rest of the stuff. Okay, I need cement mix, got wood, cobblestone I don't think I need, but I'll take it. Okay, I've got my hammer, I've got my consumables, I've got my healing stuff, I've got ammunition, and I'm loaded. And let's make level 13 forged steel. Take that. Oh, forged steel. Yes, need that for repairing. Repairing? Yeah, repairing the blade traps. All right, let's uh, let's do this. Almost time here. Uh, what am I gonna bring with? I don't know if I should just like, sell a bunch of this stuff or. Decisions, 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 jeez. Well, I will figure that out tomorrow. Alright. Still plenty of gas. Still plenty of power. Oh, I can pick up lanterns. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna put you uh, out there. That's nice. Okay, any damage repair? Minimal, minimal. Nothing really, nothing really. Yeah, we're good here. Uh -huh. You know what I should grab? Pipe bombs. And Molotov cocktails. Both those are going in my bar. Uh, didn't we have painkillers? Yeah. 
Okay, uh, learn an elixir. So. As soon as the night starts, I'm going to drink both of those, I think. I'm only going to turn on the um, blade traps if I need them. Actually, let's see about that. All right, start drinking these, I think. Here we go. It's eight minutes of that. And a couple minutes of that. All right. And timing to reload. Easy point to spend here. Advanced engineering four. That's going to take us up to 35% experience on the kills from the traps. Okay, I'm just going to pair this real quick. Alright, got a little bit more quiet. I think we can turn that off now. I mean, it can't possibly be over yet. Okay. Oh, we got vultures. Let's have a little bit of fun. Okay, I'll just real quick. Um, I'm a little hurt, so let's uh, deal with that.
Okay, I'm gonna go up top and deal with that vulture. I'm gonna turn this on until I go back. Save those skill points for the moment. Pair of that. I'm thinking. Another Molotov cocktail. I think it's the end of the night. Sounds like it. And with eight seconds left, uh, Ramp is learning elixirs. So that was perfect timing. Okay, uh, let's let's get out there and repair, and then collect our blade traps. Jeez, a lot of loot too. Takes a minute to pick these up. Right, that worked out well. Um, gained what two levels out of it? So, what are we gonna do with that other point? Now, I could put it into boomstick, but instead of that, I think nope. Yep, I'm putting it in boomstick. I get boomstick up to three. Then I think I'm gonna max out the intelligence lines. So that's if. Five, yeah, five skill points there. Six, seven. So at least my next seven skill points into that. Now let's pick up another one of these. And third one. Yeah, so using traps is well, kind of necessary. I mean, at this point, it would be very hard for me to keep up with the enemies without them. Um, but it, there's definitely a trade-off in that it cuts down to the experience you get. So since I had two learned elixirs, I wanted to kill as many things as I could without them to maximize that experience. But once I had the last level of advanced engineering, <laughs> my... Uh, my turret is under the ground. Nice. Um, geez. A lot of space. Let's go ahead and build a ladder back up into here. So how did I mess that up? 
why can't I pick? Because my inventory is full. That's fine. Oh, put the beer away. Eat the tuna. Press boy camp. I don't care about you. Lead there. Steel and nails. Tough decisions. Let's see if there's anything else we can just shove in a motorcycle. Auto stacking. Okay, Sledge, I think I'm going to leave you here. Okay, I think that's a good start. Um, I think I'm going to call this one a few minutes early. I'm going to have to think on what I'm going to bring with me versus what I'm going to leave behind. And uh, yeah, but thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you liked the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next episode. Take care.